a lot of people when they start feeling tight and they, they feel tired um, as a result of your body being locked in a fight flight pattern they're going to go exercise they're going to go jog or, or, or maybe say take some kind of cardio plyo classes now, now watch there bring this arm up ready push okay so jump and come down good bring this arm up hold See, it blows you out. So imagine when you have this instability, when you're jogging or running, your nervous system keeps getting getting low, getting rocked, which which keeps on perpetuating the tight muscles that, that your body has to do to hold the best balance possible and move the body within the, the, the Earth's gravity. So watch, we put the belt on. You're always gonna wear it a little bit lower. And go ahead and jump again. Bring this up. Ready? Push. It turns right on. Because, because now your nervous system feels stability at the at the pelvis and that and that shock wave is not going to be is not going to rock your entire system and cause more muscle contraction. Okay? So so now what we're gonna do because he, here's here's the truth of what's going on. And I don't want you getting worried or, <laughs> or anything because you, you're gonna be fine. Uh, everything that you have is considered subclinical. So subclinical means that, that, that you have the instability there, but, but it's subclinical, means that, that only when you get to a certain point to, to, will it really, really start, start aggravating, but you're, you can still function, okay? Now, you're part, if you have this, what's going on is your leg going into the hip socket, which is called the acetabulum, is not, it's not right. It's, it's not dislocated, um, but it's not sitting correctly, okay? So, so because it's not sitting correctly, when you walk or even run, then your nervous system is gonna pick that up and keep activating muscles around it. So watch, lay in your back. Okay, so now we're gonna, we're gonna take the belt off and I'm just gonna do what's called the range of motion test. Keep this straight, your knee, and we're gonna lift. So that's about maybe 90, 90, 95, right? Okay, 90, 95, and that's about as far as you're gonna go, right? Okay, so watch. Bring this leg up, keep the knee straight. I'm gonna push down and you push up, push. Okay, so see, it's kind of weird, huh? Okay, and, and a lot of people will say, I'm pushing harder, I'm not pushing harder. Um, what, what the weakness that, that, that you're seeing is not is not a true weakness. It's it's a fact that your brain is not being able to send a clear signal through the nervous system. So you're not going to get you're not getting a very strong lock. Okay, bring this up. Hold this up. Keep the knee straight. I'm going to push down at the knee, and, and you, you can actually see based upon based upon how my veins will stick out whether I'm pushing hard or not. Keep this straight. Good. I'm going to push down. Push. Push up. Push. Not that much. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and stabilize right here at the pelvis. Same thing, hold this up, keep this straight. Ready, resist. See, turns right on. Now, now it, it didn't feel like I was pushing that hard, but I was really laying into you. Mm -hmm. The strength that you're feeling is not really strength. It, it's, it's your nervous system finally being connected and, and you have stability at its most crucial point, the, the, the foundation, and then now you can send a clear signal through through your body and that muscle will, will, will contract very, very firmly, okay? Bring this up, hold this up, keep this straight. Ready, resist, and it turns on, okay? So now what, what I'm gonna do is uh, the, this table has what's called a drop, which means that I'm going to, I'm gonna bring your, your leg here and you're gonna feel the, the table dropping. So it, when, it, when it drops, it's, it's very instantaneous and I'll be able to set the joint um, and you'll, you'll barely feel it. But it happens so fast that, that when the joint is reset, the, then your brain will, will be ac actually able to, to fire that muscle accordingly, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna feel this dropping underneath you, just like that, okay? I'm gonna set the tension. Okay, there we go. Okay, you ready? Very simple. You can go here. And, sorry, and uh, there you go. Ready? There. And one more time. Set a little bit more tension. There you go, just one more time. Perfect, that wasn't bad, right? Okay, we're gonna do this side. In here, good, perfect. Okay, now we'll test again. Bring this up, keep this straight, ready, keep straight, and resist, very strong, it's in. Bring this up, hold this up, push, okay? 
Now it's in and out. Let's check range of motion. Keep this straight. Good. See? So all of a sudden you got better range of motion. So, so you got more range of motion here, but, but what's happening is on both sides, there's 90. Now you can go a little bit more because, because your nervous system is now feeling more stable. Okay. Now, the, the second thing that, that we'll show today is, is what's called the abdominal compression reflex. When the body goes into fight flight, the, the body will always go head forward, shoulders in, tight chest, tight abdominals. It's kind of like a boxer in the, in the corner of a ring taking body blows, you know, be, because your body is getting into that position to protect your vital organs. So, and what, what it does is when it gets in this position, the, then your, your, your body is able to send blood to the arms and the legs so you can run away or you can fight. The problem is we're, we're de designed to be able to get into that, protect, but then come out of it. We stay in it. And, and that's the real reason for the, the expression that stress kills. So, so I'm going to take you out of the, of the abdominal compression reflex, and, and that's going to be enough for today with the stability here, okay? So what you're going to do is come on up, scoot forward. Perfect. Okay. Now, Again, your abdominals are overly contracted, but he, here's the thing. You may not feel that they're overly contracted because you, you, have, you have become used to it, okay? Watch, cross your arms. Good, keep the back straight, lean back. I'm gonna push this way, resist, very strong, okay? But, but part, part of how we're supposed to walk is, is when we walk, it, like what I share with patients is just go see so some, some children um, in, in like the elementary school um, ages, when they walk, when they walk, they're actually walking like this. They've got a rotation. Well, watch the average adult walking down the street. It's, it's pretty bad. They're, they're kind of walking like this. They're, 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 not really, they're, they're not really swinging their arms. They're kind of going like this. So it, where if you see a child, they're, they're going to have more of a rotation. Now, when I put you into that rotation that, that we should be walking, because th this is about balance, keep keeping balance and equilibrium um, throughout, th then you're gonna notice a difference. Keep the back straight, lean back, rotate. I'm gonna push that way, sorry. I'm gonna push that way, ready? And resist me, give it all you got, hard. See, down you go. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. so, so here, rotate, I'm gonna push this way, and resist, okay? so. What you're about to see, although it looks very strange, I, I, I'm actually using your own body's reflexes. Like, like a doctor, when, when, he, when, um, when you take a reflex hammer, you hit here, the leg kicks out. I'm gonna use your own reflexes to, to get your brain to reset this, this, these tight muscles and get them to complete the contraction. Once the contraction is completed, your nervous system, that, that muscle goes into, into a relaxed state and your nervous system feels that much more relaxed. And part of the treatment for, for patients when they see me is, is I balance people out, take, take stress and pressure off, and, and then they just have to hold what, what, what I did, proper posture, balance, and things of that nature. And, and then when they come back, what, what happens is, is that your, your nervous system is a little bit better, a little bit better, a little bit better, because what, what's really happening is there's an onion effect going on. And, and to the extent that, that, that you, you take these layers away, your nervous system becomes more empowered and more empowered and more empowered, ultimately to the, to the time where, where it'll, it'll work the body and run the body effectively and efficiently. And that's what, what, the, what takes the pain away because the pain that, that a lot of people suffer um, on a chronic basis when it's structurally based, it's based upon all these layers of defensiveness that's causing, causing your, your muscles to be continually turned on and that's what causes pain. Make sense? Okay, watch. So cross your arms, good. Back straight, lean back. Now rotate, I'm putting you into the rotation that, that you should be at, but I'm exaggerating it. Hold there, I'm gonna just take my hand and just go like this along the skin. Good, very quick. And I'm stimulating the, the sense receptors on your skin, which is telling your brain to please reset the muscle back to neutral, okay? Now that was it, watch. Back straight, lean back, rotate. I'm gonna push this way, resist, strong. Lean back, rotate, hold it there, resist. Perfect, now, now lay in your back. Good, scoot back. Now we're gonna check, we're gonna check range of motion. Hands to your side, keep this straight, good. Even more. So, 
the more stress you take off the nervous system, the more it just relaxes. And, 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 and as long as you can keep that um, which, with what I'm going to share with you, the, then, then your nervous system gets better, your body, your body gets stronger, and pain goes away. Okay? Any questions? No. Nope. Thank you so much. And I look forward to, to seeing you on, on future videos where you're going to be seeing more live presentations um, demonstrating this, this functional neurological way of healing. Thank you. Thank you.